Iku kabini kabini rono Emang misi sojo Mati gabi Jalan pulis so bisa di Jeli jen pulis so bisa Kuluri Ige acata Wama bisa Bapa Kuparan di Bikin Eki gani usomo Bos, kubara mudiki ye Bwasha yindi babari ni tori ni Aji, lati buka onde yutu barode
Your Excellencies, invited guests, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we say good morning to every one of you all. You are welcome to the Day of Tributes in memory of our revered first elected civilian governor of Lagos State, Alhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde, LKJ. That applause should be understood in its proper perspectives. Papa was a lover of education and children. Many of us here are beneficiaries of his free education program at all levels. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the day of tribute in honor of that legend, a people's man, a venerable statesman, and a selfless leader. Before the arrival of the special guest of honor, the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Olusola Sonwolu. My name is Kunle Adeshino. I'll be your anchor person. Co-anchoring this event with me today is Busola Kukoi and Ayo Shotonwa. Together, we will do justice with colorful description of everything that will take place here today, God willing. Let me also inform you that this event will be transmitted live on the networks of Lagos Television, Channels Television, Television Continental, and Arise TV, and Radio Lagos, Tiwantiwa. In addition, this event will be live on all our social media handles for Lagos State. 
Before the arrival of Mr. Governor, we will go on and recognize some of the dignitaries who are already here seated. Let me hand over to my colleague, Busola Kukoi. Thank you very much, Kule. Your Excellences, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I say good morning to you and welcome to the special day in honor of a man that is too great to be forgotten. A man that has been able in his lifetime to give to very many people free and qualitative education. Also, he was able during his lifetime to ensure that Lagos State is placed on the map of Committee of States, and I make bold to say, Committee of Nations in Africa. I'm talking of a man that in the journalism profession, we refer to him as an icon. I'm talking about Baba Kekere, LKJ for short. We thank you very much for being here this morning. But before we go ahead with the recognitions, I'd like to cede the microphone to a senior colleague who will let us know in our own language what is going on here this morning. Ayo, Shotonwa. Moki, Bobboa, Pata, Pata, we pay Aku, Yaleta, Aku, Juma, Teni, O Juma, O Juma, Ayo, Juma, Lafiani, Ani, Aki, Bobboa, we pay Akabo, Si, Bagede, Yi, Ni, Ni, Ti, Anshe, Ibuwa, Lafun, Babawa, Tuwaja, Gomina, Alagbada, Koko, Ni, Kmile, Eko, Baba wa Haji Latif Kayode, Jack on Day. Adupa, we pay Akwenyi, Adupa and Tori pay at Jawa, Aki Bobo, Akata Patati, Awa Nibiloni, Bere Latori, Awa Lake or Lake or T, O T, Tia Madaru Kawa Lai Pet, one year in our Londa Kuka, Atiri Bobo, Awa KKK, Awa Lake, Tori Pekini, Babawa, Al Haji Latif, Jacande of Fiat, to a Koshere, Nipileko, Melo La Feca, Nino and Gogoti Moshe, Ama Gani Wafi, Ipile, Rere Lele, Eti Bobo Wang, Tele Loni, Aniti Bobo, Ama Gomino, Tio Tinde, Sipileko, Tele, Adukala Bobo Wau, Le Consi, Wipe, Kaja Joko, Kajogbo awon oribiribi kajobuola kajogbo oro igboriyin fun awon baba wa lo lo bayi bi atin soro aki awon mama wa awon mama wa olori re meji ti won wole bayi a mama wa iyawo gomina wa ni ipinle eko obinrin akoko ni ipinle eko mama wa claudiana ebi joke Sawolu e Karoma. Ati awon mama wa yawo gbakeji gomina ni ipinle eko mama wa olure mi Amzat won ti wole sarin wa bayi akinyima e Kabo Moni melo la maka melo la fe so se ni ti awon mere mere awon ohun amaye derun ni ki aso ni ani baba wa Rajila ti jakande no, ni won se ipile o n gbogbo ti ipile eko je loni adupe adupe lowo olohun adupe fun won ani a ma ran ti won titi lai lai ni adupe o fun ojo eni to ba gbogbo alayo ati alaafia ati gbogbo e bi pata pata gbogbo awa ti awa ni bi loni no ni an ki pe e kabo si eto pataki yi ojo pataki nenu ito Ekmila eko, eko, aromisa, legbe, legbe. Thank you very much. Let me formally recognize the widow of the first civilian governor, elected civilian governor of Lagos State, Our Excellency Alaja Abimbola Jakonde. A round of applause for Mama. Also here are the children.
we welcome the children of Papa LKJ, the sons and daughters. I say congratulations to you because your dad has left a legacy. We welcome you all and we thank you for being here to celebrate this great man. I want to formally recognize and welcome the wife of the governor of Lagos State, the First Lady of Lagos, Miss Dr. Mrs. Claudiana Ibijoke Sonwolu. Please, can we put our hands together for the First Lady? Thank you very much for being here this morning. I'd also like to recognize and welcome the wife of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State. Please put your hands together as I welcome Mrs. Oluremi Hamzat. You're very welcome, Ma. We thank you for being here. Of course, my colleague has let us know that we have already very many important dignitaries already seated. I'd like to recognize our fathers, the custodian of our tradition and culture, Kabiesi. You're all very welcome. The White Cap Chiefs, we recognize you. We thank you for being here. Members of the State Executive Council are already seated. We have the Secretary to the State Government of Lagos State, Mrs. Folashade Jaji. You're very welcome. The Chief of Staff of Lagos is also here with us, Mr. Tayo Ayide. We thank you very much for being here, Kunle. Let me, let me also welcome a former deputy governor, Princess Sarah Adebisi Shoson. You are very much welcome, Ma. Let's also welcome a former deputy governor, Mrs. Koforola Bokno Akerele. You are very much welcome. Also here, let us welcome the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Kadri Obafemi Hamzat. A round of applause for him. Let's also welcome a former Deputy Governor, Prince Biodru Ogunleye. I have also seen an elder statesman and a former governor of Ogun State, Aremo Olushegun Oshoba. Let's welcome the head of service, Mr. Akim Muri Okwala. Senator. Olabi Drojaye, you are very much welcome, sir. I'd also like to quickly recognize the presence of the wife of the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, the wife of Mr. Speaker, Mrs. Falilat Obasa. You're very welcome, ma. She's not here alone. We also have the Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials, Council Members, all present here this morning. We recognize you and we thank you for being here to celebrate this great man, Al-Haji Latsif Kayode Jakonde. We also welcome family members of the Jakondes, the Jakonde family members. Thank you for coming. Let me recognize some of our Obas that are here. First, Alakpa of Akpa Kingdom, Oba Oyekon, Adekomi, Ajose, Alailua, we say Ka BSU. Also here is Ranodru of Vimota, Oba Ajibade, Bakari, Aguru, Alailua, Ka BSU. Let me also recognize the Onijani King of Ijaniki Kingdom, Oba Dr. Muhammadu Afolabi Ashafa, Alailua Kabiesio. 
We also have with us the Chief Imam of Lagos, Sheikh Engineer Sulaiman Abunola. You are very much welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to let us know that we've had present here since about 8 a.m. students and pupils from the schools that we love to call Jacon Day schools. And they are here to celebrate a man that gave education in Nigeria as a whole, but particularly in Lagos State, a new lease of life. I'm talking about the students and pupils of Lagos State Public Schools. Please, can we put our hands together for those wonderful ones? They've been here as, as early as 8 a.m. They deserve very special recognition. Thank you for being here to celebrate a father of the education sector in Nigeria. We recognize as well members of the Committee of Local Government and Local Council Development Area Chairman here. Of course, they are led by the Chair of Chair. I'm talking about the Chairman, Conference 57, Honorable Mrs. Omolola Essien. You're very welcome, Ma. We thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for being here with all the chairmen from all the local governments and local council development areas. Next, I will introduce the chairman of the ruling party in Lagos State and the ruling party in Nigeria, All Progressives Congress, Alhaji Tunde Balogun. A round of applause for him. Let's also welcome members of the State Executive Council who are here present. We also want to recognize members of the Governor's Advisory Council, led by the head, Prince Tajuddin Oluyole Olusi. You are welcome, sirs. Lekosi aki gogo a wipe e se ti e dide ti e wa lati bu ola fun baba wa gomina ola gbada akoko ni ipinle eko baba wa alhaji ilache kaode jakonde idi ti gogo wa fi wa ni bi loni ni yen adupe lowo gbakeji gomina wa ni ipinle eko baba wa omo we kadri oba femi amzat won ti wa laarin wa Amo Ibakeji Gomino, a play called Nibakari, Mamawa Sera, show some Mamawa go forward on a bock no. Back on only Amon Babawa, Omabao, Muleye, Tiwa, Niari, Wa Gomino. Ah, no, no, Nepile, O Gumbabawa, the Molusha Gon Shoba to a Laniwa. Back on only Ani, I want Senators Boboni, Ani, Wa, Biawan Babawa. Gani you all are the you Solomon to go when your mossy goes. I do pay a low ni a share a food desa. I do pay no low one by Bawa, Labi, you draw Jaye. I want not to wa, Larry wa. Back on all, ne a key old lorry go go, she share, pata pata, ne play co, cabos yarny wa, Babawa, a kim, muri, o cola. Oh, Lori, she shall office go in or not, wa, Larry wa. Aki Ogbani Tayo Ainde, Eshe, Loko Loko. Back on the Aki Awan Babawa, Ti Wanjalaga Goshe Lue Pisi Nikoleko, Babawa Haji Tunde Balogun. Aki Bobo Awan Loba Lobawa, Anika Biesio, Bobo Awan Oloye, O Nefila Funfun Nikoleko, Akini, Ekabo Saniwa. A jin di ara ma je gbogbo ebi jakande patapata gbogbo awon iya loja gbogbo baba loja gbogbo patapata ni a pe ti won si ti wa ni bi lowo lowo bayi adupe lowo awon mama wa ti won je akowe 
Thank you very much. Ayo Shotonwa, we welcome the former military administrator of this great state. I'm talking about the chief executive officer of the NDLEA, retired Brigadier General Buba Marwa. We welcome you. We thank you for being here. All our service chiefs who are here represented, we thank you for being here. The senator representing Lagos Central Senatorial District, I'm talking about Senator Oluremi Tinumbu. She's ably represented by Honorable Mrs. Omolola Essien. We thank you for being here this morning. Um, like my colleague has said, there are very many dignitaries here this morning. And one of the reasons that they're here is to identify with the worthy cause that the great man, Al-Haji Latsif Kayode Jakonde, stood for. Kunle. Thank you, Busola. We also have the service commanders here present. Let me recognize the Commander 9 Brigade, Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Saleh Kanugana. You are very much welcome. Also here is the Commander, Nigerian Navy Ship Beecroft, Rear Admiral Ibrahim Shetima. You are very much welcome. We also have here with us the State Director, Department of State Services, Lagos State, Shehu Muhammad Waziri, MNI. You are very much welcome. Let's also welcome His Royal Majesty, Alailua, Oba of Lagos, Oba Riliwanu, Aremu, Babatunde Oshualale, Akiolu the first, ably represented here today by the White Cap Chiefs, Chief Latif Ajose, Okpelua Onidu of Lagos, Chief Waid Yusuf Olohogun Agbeje of Lagos, Prince Ayodele. Let's rise to welcome the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Olusola Sanwolu.
Mr. Governor, you are welcome, sir. We also have Mr. Governor is exchanging pleasantries with some of our dignitaries who are already here seated. I think we should applaud Mr. Governor Morris soundly. Let's applaud Mr. Governor Morris soundly. We thank you very much for being here this morning, Mr. Governor for celebrating this great man, Alhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde. Mr. Governor, Mr. Deputy Governor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I crave your indulgence to flag up the ceremony. May we all rise for the national anthem. Please may we rise for the national anthem. The Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Olusola Sanwolu. The First Lady, Dr. Mrs. Claudiana Ibijoke Sanwolu. The Deputy Governor, Dr. Kadri Obafemi Hamzat, wife of the Deputy Governor, Mrs. Oluremi Hamzat. Former Governor and National Leader of Progressives Congress, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Sinumbu, ably represented by Honorable Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Mr. Tunji Belo, former military governor and chairman, chief executive, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, retired Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, wife of the first elected civilian governor and widow. Our Excellency Al Haja Abimbola Jakonde, the children and Jakonde family members, former Deputy Governor Mrs. Kofo Bokno Akerele, Prince Abiodru Ogunleye, Princess Sarah Adebisi Shoson, members of the National Assembly, especially the Senator representing. Lagos Central Senatorial District, Senator Olure Mitinumbu, ably represented by Mrs. Omolola Essien. His Royal Majesty, Alai Lua, Obariliwanu Babatunde Aremu Oshualale Akiolu I, ably represented by the White Cap Chiefs, members of the Lagos State House of Assembly here present. Former Governor Olusegun Oshoba, Secretary to the State Government, Mrs. Fola Shade Jaji, the Head of Service, Mr. Akim Muri Okwala, the Chief of Staff to, his, to Mr. Governor, Mr. Tayo Aide, members of the Lagos State Executive Council. Body of Permanent Secretaries, the Service Commanders for the Army, Navy, and Department of State Service, and the Commissioner of Police, Chairman of Local Governments and Local Council Development Areas, 
Chairman of Progressives Congress, Lagos State, Alhaji Tunde Balogun, State ESCO members of the APC, members of the Governor's Advisory Council, especially the head, Prince Tajuddin Oluyole Olusi, former members of the State Executive Council here present, members of the Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials, Captains of Industries, your Royal Majesty's Vice Chairman and other members of the Council of Obas in Lagos, top functionaries and heads of ministries and extra departmental agencies. The Chief Imam of Lagos, Khan Chairman and other religious leaders here. Iyaloja General, Chief Mrs. Fola Shade Tinumbuojo, ably represented other APC party chieftains, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. First thing first, let us commit this event unto divine guidance, as I respectfully invite the chief imam of Lagos, Sheikh Abunola, to please step forward and lead us with the opening prayers. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, the Lord of the worlds, the King of the day of judgment, it is you we worship, and it is from you we seek for assistance. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for granting us good health. As we converge this morning in memory of one of the sons of the soil, late Alaji Abdul Latif Jakande, our Lord grant us good opening, grant us good closing, grant us good on the inside and on the outside. We pray for the departed soul of our father. Alaji Abdul Latif Jakonde, forgive his sins, grant him external peace, grant the family the fortitude, and strengthen them. Our Lord, we pray for the government of Lagos State under the leadership of His Excellency Governor Babagide Sonwolu, his deputy, Dr. Bafemi Amzat and the entire cabinet of Lagos State, for you to continue to protect them, for you to continue to guide them. We pray for our dear state, Lagos State, for you to grant us peace and harmony, for you to protect us from calamities. Wabana Fuigi Ali in a sovereign, was a bit of the man, once we know the formula Kafirin. Alhamdulillah, he will be the Alameen. Alhamdulillah, he will be the Alameen. Maliki Yomi Deen. Yakana Budua, Yakana Stain. He did not sort of Mustakim, sort of Levina and Amta Alehim, Vail Magdubi Alehim, while a ball in Amin. Thank you. Your Excellencies, Mr. Governor, Lord Accord, is duly extended. Let me invite Apostle Daniel or Dejimi for the Christian version of the opening prayers. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We appreciate you for the life spent of our father, late Alaji Latif Kayode Jakonde, the first civilian executive governor of Lagos State. We thank you for the wife. We thank you for the life of the children and entire members of the family. And we thank you for the Lagos state in whom you have given him the privilege to lead and he led very well with a good example. We thank you for the entire nation Nigeria 
that is celebrating him today. We are not money, but we are celebration. Lord, we return the glory back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. As we gather here today, Lord, we pray that as your name is Alpha and Omega, you prove yourself. And at the end of everything, we return the glory back to you. Thank you for the executive governor of Lagos State and the entire members of the cabinet. Thank you for everybody that have contributed in one way or the other to the success of this family for the celebration that we are doing today. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Mr. Governor, other excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me inform us that this event is being beamed live on the network of Channels Television, Lagos Television, Arise TV and Television Continental, as well as Radio Lagos, Tiwa and Tiwa. Likewise, this event is being beamed live on the social media handles of Lagos State Government, be it Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please join us on the program. Mr. Governor, sir, with your kind permission, let me also recognize the representative of the Governor of Ogun State, Mr. Dakpo Abiodun, ably represented by the Deputy Governor, Engineer Noimot, Salako Oyedele and her husband, Alhaji Bode Oyedele, you are very much welcome. Mr. Governor, sir, all other courtesies duly extended. You are welcome to the day of tribute in honor of the first elected civilian governor of Lagos State, His Excellency, late Alhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde, a venerable statesman, an outstanding patriot, and a selfless leader. Alhaji Jakonde, who was popularly known as Baba Kekere, contested and won the governorship elections in Lagos State in 1979 under the banner of the defunct Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN. He campaigned with four cardinal programs, free education at all levels, free health care for all residents, full employment opportunities, and integrated rural urban development. And he faithfully implemented the four cardinal programs of the defunct UPN. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kunle Adeshino. I am not alone. Also here with me is Busola Kukoi. Thank you very much, Kunle. Mr. Governor, Mr. Deputy Governor, the First Lady, the wife of a Deputy Governor, all curses duly extended. Indeed, today is the day that the Lord has made and we are rejoicing because Alhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde came, he saw, and indeed he conquered. He left behind a legacy too great to be forgotten or pushed over. Very many Nigerians and Africans alike are indeed basking in the glory of the things that this man has enabled them to achieve through the compulsory free education at primary and secondary school level. The provision of housing for over 30,000 families at that time and very many more. Indeed, he is a man worthy of celebration and we rejoice with the widow and the family today because this great man, Baba Kekere, is indeed an icon not only in Nigeria, but in West Africa as a whole. To let us know what is going on here today in Yoruba, a senior colleague is here with us, Ayo Shotonwa. Let us see 
ani ojo ti awa buola fun baba wa ti won je gomina alagbada koko gomina ti wa nti wa ni ipinle eko baba wa anhaji lati ka ode jakonde ti gbogbo wa o le gbagbe lai lai anu melo ni a fe so ninu ise ti baba se awon gan ni won fi ipinle o nrere gbogbo ti ipinle eko duro le lori loni ni won fi sile adupe lowo gbogbo wa wi pe a pe wa a si je adupe lowo baba wa ti won je gomina ipinle eko baba wa baba jude olusola sanwolu iyawo won mama wa claudiana ebi do ke sanwolu adupe lowo igbakeji gomina ipinle eko baba wa mo we oba femi amzat adupe lowo iyawo won adupe lowo gbogbo awon ti won jo n se eto ni ipinle eko awon na ni won pe wa jo nibi tori pe ise ti baba se ti baba jakonde se mani gbagbe ni melo la fe so ninu gbogbo ti won se se ti eto ile gbigbe ni te ba n gbo ile jakonde ile jakonde ile jakonde o ke afa ije abesan ipon ri ipaja gbogbo e lo sua ni ani gbogbo awon nkan ma ye derun ti baba jakonde se ni ipinle eko se ti oro ki gbogbo eyan romi lo ni adiyan e le omi adiyan ti ju eyi ti gbogbo e to 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 di ohun ti gbogbo eniyan mu to kari gbogbo ipinle eko se ti oju ona la fe so ni melo ni a fe wi ninu ohun ti baba se oro eko wa nko a a o ka mama pupo ninu awon to ti goke agba loni ni ipinle eko lo je wi pe eto eko ofe ti baba wa haji latif ka ode jakonde gbe kale ni ipinle eko ni won ja anfani e to so mo di olori re to so mo di eyan nla ni oni yi se ti oro igoke gbodo oko ni a fe so ni ani melo la fe ka ninu ohun ti baba se o po ta ba mu ni meni meji ta ba fi gbogbo ojo ka koda ko le to wa lati ka ohun ti baba se adupe ka wa bu ola fun ona ni a se wa ni bi loni adupe o mo so mo ni ipile ti won mo ipile ti won se ti won gbe kale na ni gbogbo awon gomina o toku n tele ti won mo le lori adupe ohun ti ipile eko da loni a ma dupe lowo olonun ni tori pe ipile eko sori re lopolopo a ki gbogbo wa o a ki gbogbo ale kan si wi pe eku dide ese e ka bo sarin wa to adupe e lowo lowo bayi pelu iyonda awon baba wa gomina wa ni ipile eko a dupe pe igbakeji gomina ipile eko engineer noimot salapo oyedele ti wa ni arin wa bayi ati olowo ri won oko won ogbeni bode oyedele salako e ka bo sarin wa thank you very much mr governor and his wonderful wife mr deputy governor and his wife deputy governor of league of ogo state and her husband all curses duly extended ladies and gentlemen it is now the time for the welcome address and there is no better person to welcome each and every one of us to today's day of tributes in honor of alhaji latif kayode jakonde then the deputy governor of lagos state please can you put your hands together very resoundingly for dr kadri obafemi hamza as he comes forward to give a formal welcome to this event i think we can applaud mr deputy governor better can we please put our hands together Mr. Deputy Governor, sir. The Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, 
His amiable wife, the First Lady of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Claudiana Ibijoke Sonwolu. My loving wife, Mrs. Oluremi Hamzat, the Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Her Excellency Naimot Salako Oyedele, and her lovely husband, the Speaker, Lagos State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Mudashiru Ajayi Obasa, the Chief Judge of Lagos State, my Lord Honorable Justice Kazim Aluba, former Governor of Lagos State, here present, especially Brigadier General Buba Marwa, former Governor of Ogun State, Chief Olushegun Oshoba, the former Deputy Governors of Lagos State here present, starting from Prince Abiodun Ogunlaye, Princess Adebisi Sarah Shoson, Chief Mrs. Akere Lebokno, and wife of the former governor of Lagos State, Her Excellency Alaja Abimbola Jakonde. Distinguished members of the National Assembly here present, members of the Diplomatic Corps, honorable members, Lagos State House of Assembly, Secretary to the State Government, Mrs. Sherifat Fola Shade Jaji, the Head of Service Lagos State, Mr. Akim Muri Okwala, Chief of Staff to the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Tayo Anide, members of the State Executive Council present here, the Chairman of various commissions, members of the Permanent Secretaries, Chairman of Local Government Councils and Development Areas, the Chairman of our party in Lagos State, Honorable Tunde Balogun, members, Governor Advisory Council, Lagos State traditional white cap chiefs, religious leaders, top government functionaries, families and friends of our late father, Alaji Latif Kao de Jakonde, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome. Our lives are but a stint, and how well we undo our days and our time in the sun tells of just how well our place in history is. Today is Baba Kekere's day in the sun, a day of tributes. As we all know, Alaji Latif Kayo de Jakonde was our governor from 1979 to 1983. But for me, it's a bit different because it's also personal. He was a leader and a team captain with my father, who served in his cabinet as his commissioner for transportation at the first civilian rule in Lagos State between 1979 and 1983. Such was his candor and grace and commitment to continue maintenance of relationship that he showed up at my graduation ceremony from the University of Ibadan in 1986. I was, as you can imagine, elated as a very young adult by this gracious gesture. Quite an accomplished Democrat, a selfless and purposeful leader, Aladdin Jakonde defined the essence of leadership. He lived what he believed and what he preached. Many Nigerians, especially the citizens of Lagos State, will always remember the various life impacting and people oriented programs, such as the housing schemes, free education, and specifically the elimination of the shift system in our, in our primary and secondary schools, which gave many Lagosians the opportunity to go to school who ordinarily would not have had the chance to do so. He, it was, who started the LTV8 and Radio Lagos, just as his chief leader, Chief Obafemi Awolowa did when he founded the first television station in Africa. Many beneficiaries declare and attest to just how much the opportunity given them at that time meant to their existence and their lives today. As the history of Lagos is being told, 
and when the geniuses of history penned the indelible words of great and little actions of men, a page I'm sure with the pen in gold of a man who envisioned and translated the desires of many of his people to reality. LKJ was a man of many parts, a journalist of repute, a great politician, an accomplished administrator, and a devoted father and a devoted husband. Indeed, LKJ was a detribalized Nigerian. He demonstrated fortrightness, a rare commodity in the political marketplace of his days. Aladi Jakonde did not get into political fray with deliberate efforts to forge a common front and push a progressive agenda. He knew just how well a leader can lead, not from the front, but from the background. He offered ideas sharpened by the wizened years of reflections and contemplations. He had a blueprint tempered by high level of intellect and wisdom. He did not take that wisdom to heaven. He contemplated and he left a template. As we host a day of tributes for, the Lag for Lagos State Force civilian governor, Alaji Latif Kaude Jakonde, there is a need for contemplation and reflection on legacies. What will your legacy be? What will be mine? What will be our legacy? From Alaji Latif Jakonde, we should learn that tomorrow belongs to them who dare to brave the odds and pitch their tent on the side of the large mass of the people. It is among the jury of the real Omolua beings that Alaji Latif Jakonde commands the position of standard bearer. Alaji Jakonde is an unfolding Iroko tree long after his days. Its roots reaches deeper and deeper. It shades broader and broader, offering shades and a place for birds to nest and humans to take a shelter away from the scorching sun. Mr. Governor, Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let us celebrate LKJ by a reflection on our way of life and not by our words alone. He, it was who came, saw, and conquered. He gave us a light by which to live. Let's begin the journey anew for the cause for which he lived. Baba Kekere, in Allahi, wa in Allahi Rajihun. May Almighty Allah accept the repose of his soul. May our Jannah Fridaus be its final abode. I also pray for Mama and the children for the strength and fortitude to bear this great loss. Thank you very much.
Mr. Governor, sir, your excellencies, all other courtesies duly extended. With your kind permission, I will introduce the Chief Judge of Lagos State, Honorable Justice Kazim Alugba, ably represented by Honorable Justice Taufikat Oyekon Abdullah. You are very much welcome. Next on the program lineup is the documentary on the life and times of the first civilian governor of Lagos State, Alhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde, C-O-N. Please let's all be attentive as the documentary is telecast. Mr. Governor, sir. From the technical hand, can the volume be increased? Mr. Governor, sir, your excellencies, All other courses duly extended. With your kind permission, sir, we'll go on to the next item. We'll go on to the eulogies in memory of the late first civilian governor of Lagos State. First, I will respectfully invite an elder statesman and the head of the governor's advisory council, Prince Tajuddin Oluyoli Olusi for his eulogy for the late Alhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde. A round of applause for Papa. All um, all courtesies I duly observed, uh, Mr. Governor, with your kind permission and with concurrency of the distinguished ladies and gentlemen that seated, I'm going to speak in my local language, in my tongue. Moki Gominawa, Modeke, Igbakeji Gomina, Achawan, Olori, Moki Boba, Abaka, Doa, and I would descend or not. Mulema, Daru Cotton, Okiboba, Ba, and Lai Lua, 
Moke Yawa Olori Babawa Alaji Jakonde Moke Bobo Mon Yawa Ton and Joko Along Abawa Mo Iluna Dani Ekene Mofa Dupa Fun Gomina Ati Joba Fan Fanny, ni phone, and she lenny, and yet young she lenny from a bow, and more duper, more than duper, and low call bob one in your me, low call bob one that share that or shake banner, and back by do low low call one to one do come be, and almost forty years after, and oh, I pay Oh, lo ye, along for me, and Bashon, but by that one, the one in the funeral, oh, up a looming me. My two talk and say, a senator, senator, a defuye, oh, what balloon be, Mamma, we are tumba, a tumba bushura, or no, Bobo, wine, and la de, I want you on me. Nay, Olu, Olu, Rancher, Olu, Bawa. Boy, I tell you, boy, look when you're around boys. Luba Bawa, a bonwa. I want Bawa, Baba, one in Catoli, on the Dibo, on the Catol, on the Dino. And Ori Ru, O Lucayo, the Japon, O de Kese, O de Kese, and Toriqua, Lua B, Niwa, a bonwa B. You want the job, one more day or look away, and you got our one near daughter, one boy see, and one call, say no way ruin, and the service, and you look for a bow, you want to pay one. I say, oh, say, am I lord do we want a name? It's one or boo, yeah, boo, enjoy. And Nick Bay, no, I won't be a bed on Savando or Winkoto and on the Ladi and Nick Bay and Nordo, see all Baba Wajak on day. And oh, Jenny, dear Johnny, and got on a Flabons, see
Baba about my fee. Lo se when ya it be a no wa nin bog by one. No she bum random. You win ya the so I can do song bang ba be at more or you love or by me I will lower for long for it. Baba Nick and where you are. The God says, I live that duro, I live rule no, I go a line. I dedicate at the five percent of what on Wally, see where San Region and a polluting one. What I be done by Wolo, by Bani, and I told that duro, Boshe, Niba Bawa, and Jack on the Oshe, and me Nick by more, but more keen one on day. Agbe Fakari, or more Lomu, Akperon, or Wa Agogo, Akolen, Dori Luda, for the case, as she gone. Thank you and God bless. Please can we applaud Mr. Judin Oluyole Oluyi once again, very sir. In continuation of the eulogies to Alhaji Lajde, I'd like to invite to the mound, the secretary to government. Government will celebrate God and session is what we are doing today. I specifically asked for one cabbage because he was a part of the government at that time. But he is absent. What are you going to do? do? He's one of those who family with government. And uh, he's still around. Some of his colleagues have gone, made their stories imperfect. One mark of a great man is lasting impressions upon the people he meets. Another is to have handled matters life at the cause of after events. By it was uh, Winston Spencer Shaquille, the man of the century in uh, at his time. So the Jacqueline, the charisma. Nine eight nine eight. Here in to uh, LKJ to become the first governor, civilian governor of Lagos State. LKJ won the primary election of his party. 
Ministry of Niger, you had made flour out there, all of you go motion in the I went on to win the general election. In 1979, he was on Monday, October 1, 1979. While planning to be governor, AKJ had set up images on various subjects, which resulted in production of 14 action papers. Local governments. Development. All court terms of the UP of his party, free which free education at all level, free medical service or greater and full and gainful employment. AKJ went to die. Made a last on you in the evening. First of October, began education free at all levels. On October 2, 1979, Prince Bayoshi Emi, Special Advisor today on uh, Lookout and Community Matters, a 29-year-old bastard journalist was made appointed secretary to the state government. While first informing Abashon his appointment on September 20, 1979, AKJ requested him to arrange for the first cabinet meeting to take place on Thursday, 4th of October 1979, four days, the fourth day of his name. List of Congress was approved by the House of Assembly on 3rd of October, and they were sworn in with the SSG that same. The first cabinet did take place on October 4, and was arranged. It was easy for for Nibashon to arrange this meeting because of the assistance from Tunde Fanimoku, a prominent Lagos uh, chief, K.A. Bameke of Blessed Memory, and Tor Komaya, all of who, all of Tukoma is also who were introduced to him by Adeshe Ogwe. They were later top permanent secretary in the government. That meeting, the 4th of October, considered and approved the, the 14 papers mentioned, and these papers are adopted as government of the administration. Landmark achievements. The first four years recorded achievements that objective of AKJ. And what was the objective? A damn benefit for the majority of our people. So from the board, government resumed the administration due to shortage classrooms. It did with the massive construction of classrooms. Low cost housing heavily subsided. The first blocks of, of houses made with red were at the Amu Ward. If you get of it, the main road coming from on the right, you see those red houses. They are the first set of houses built in Jacondi for low income. The target set for four years was 50,000 units, but the administration was able to achieve just 
which indeed is defeat by national standard in Nigeria. Expansion of health services. We met many health centers uncompleted. They were not only completed, many others were built. And general hospitals were also built. It is significant to, to mention in the public that as at that time, 1970, Lagos had general hospitals. The crew did not, but under Jack on the, we had the general hospital. Road development. He embarked on massive construction of roads and resurfacing of many throughout the city. No drainage, no new road was the mantra. If there was going to be any road based on request by the residents and government was not ready to make drainage, there will be no action. Land policy. This facilitated a ton of land for government projects, especially classrooms and local housing scheme. I want to mention two of the land, and this was done with what Jack they called cancellation of last minute allocations. The quarry was built, they were shared among it. The county allocation. Dolphin Estate was where we have the JST today, also a local center. There was also, there was also something and allocated to the council and used the area for local housing. Medium housing in my area. This same land placing, which time he did, he did make a special broadcast, which is titled Land Policy in New Order. Turned Victoria Island in a coherent mind for government. New Water Works. As at the time, they took over, they had the Jew Water Works, the Jew Water Works, serving Lagos. And during the studies before he came into government, we found that the Jew will not serve will not serve certain areas like Amu Water, for instance, like Kurud and other suburbs. So he 10 minute water call, 10 minute water works, complement what the Jew was giving us. While you know, a foreign fund project was in the plan, water tank. Three big passenger boats were launched. Name Babakere, Betty, and Dafaji. Why people call Babakere to how did they not through the boat? Who the sort of business? She was always there. Then I did address her on house. Had to make a speech. And he got so excited that. Along the line, he said, today, I call Jack on the back. Our is the big one. When we were naming the chief behind the boats, Babake Kiri came up. And the popularity at Marina, and also at Avaji. Only constant where we are today. Only constant was big directly by one Whose general manager then was Adishay Ogunewe, the state university. Process to establish the university at Ojo was complete before he left. The vice chancellor, late Professor Falabi Limide, had been elected. And the gov governing council, headed by the then commissioner of education, Mr. Alon Fume Bachon had been put in place. Construction of Metro Line. Light rail, Metro Line is light rail, which was from Yaba to Marina, passing through 
my colleague Aunt Ido, had taken off before the coup of the 31, 1983 stopped it. In fact, an amazing happened, which is where this is, was that Sheo Shagari, president, the vice president of the uh, of uh, blessed memory, the Senate president, Dr. Joseph Wyatt, and uh, the speaker of the House of Representatives, late Reverend Right Honorable Edwin Gomez Yuki, who at the groundbreaking ceremony at Atiaba. They were invited, the president was convinced that this was a, a regular rapport between Alaji Jakonde and Seu Shagari at monthly meetings, which I had the privilege of accompanying him to attend. The public service. He was very friendly with the public servants of Lagos State. He had, by his public acknowledgement of their mother and dedicated service, one significant action he took, which was geared him to workers, was his insistence that the career grade level should in Lagos end at 17 like federal workers and not level 16. In others. At that time, the permanent was on level 16 in the states. In the states, Lagos. But considering issues, the reason that federal government, Lagos state government, are on the same territory. Why give a permanent security left? That was how he gave the level 17. No longer now, but that was what he meant. AKJ extended other enhanced free increase to the workers. He made sure and retrain. Conclusion. I like it, Dr. Latif Kao Jakondi, but an epitome of discipline, especially as the guard the party, you, a passionate progressive, lover of people, and all, a person who pursued whatever he believed in. Whatever he believed in, commitment and dedication. I will say this was right. This is a attribute of him. That was why he was able to overcome all the obstacles against his government when he was in power. He so rest in perfect peace. Thank you very much. As you are due alone for me, Basharun. Mr. Governor, Excellencies, all other parties duly extended. Next, we we'll invite a distinguished historian of repute, Adekunle Ali. Let's applaud Baba. A round of applause for him. Your Excellency, Mr. Governor, and his stable wife, the first lady of the state, all observed. My speech is going to be very short. I got to know of this invitation to speak at this tribute ceremony here today. I don't know where to start, because a large jack on day was a, like elephant. To start this, 
you don't know the whole size of this elephant. And from what you have all heard today and read in the I am not going to repeat all this again because my association with Alavija Khan began when I was elected to the House of Representatives in 1979. He gave us a free hand and he never questions most of what he did. But privately, he monitors what goes on at house. And some of us took it as a responsibility to report to him the affair of that house. I remember in 1981, the then governor, the NPN governor, led by Shehu Shagari, introduced a bill to the to the land assembly for revenue addition between the federal state and the local governments and under this bill it is only revenue coming in mainly from uh, the oil and uh, the revenue generated from personal income tax of federal government were uh, allocated to the federal government and the others were not uh, to share in this revenue. So Alayu Jaconde wrote a letter to the members of Lagos State in that, uh, in that uh, assembly, trying to find out what was going on. I serve a member of the Revenue Committee. I don't know the information relating to our revenue and in reply he sent me a letter under the letterhead of the state government dated 6th of april 1982 i read shape like house of representatives national assembly far below lagos my dear adequately Collected revenue. I have just read your brilliant paper on the above named subject. I certainly take all necessary actions suggested in the paper. At our last meeting, the 12 governors decided to write a joint letter to the president. I shall see a copy of the letter when I have it. With kindest regard, signed as the second. Now, uh, I, because of shortage of time, I not continue my table, but I was a short reference to what is not known to most of the people here. That was the peer is in consideration prison was here. After about the, the more to different places, I mean the the detainee, and he was uh, sent to Tokoto prison. I was the major channel of the communication name and the whole world at that time. I sent him cuttings from papers and stories which I also had. He was very appreciative, and as a result of this, he decided to write a book because employment was the rage of the society at this time. Then he said the work, what he called full employment for all Nigerians. I believe this book 
is yet to be published. Perhaps it may be published after election. But what I can say about it is that the problem of the country is ever most present in the mind of Elijah Jacobs' lifetime. And, and I think with this, this trip is not sort of what should be doing. But I pray that his departure will bring a better Nigeria and that his family and the, some of those who associated with or ourselves with him will continue to follow the path we lay behind to arrest my sister. Thank you very much. Please, can we applaud Honorable Akunle Ali Morris Anderley? Thank you very much, sir. Going on with tributes to Al Haji Latif Kaja Konde. I'd like to call on Special Advisor to Mr. Governor and Chieftaincy Affairs. Please put your hands together as I welcome Prince Bayo Oshemi for his tributes. Please can we applaud Prince Oshemi. Mr. Sir. His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, former Governor of Lagos and Ogun here present, Deputy Governors of Lagos and Ogun here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, too many people have spoken about who Alaji Latif Jaconde represented in the office. I'm therefore not going to bore you repeating what he had said. There are three things for which Alaji Jaconde stood out as personal views. One, he was a man of honor. He believes that once you take honor away from a man, he's left nothing. That was why he faithfully entered the four cardinal programs of the Unity Party of Nigeria that sponsored him into office. Before his inauguration, the outgoing chair advised him to go back to the and say that given the situation on ground, he could no longer implement free education. Elijah Jaconde's reply can be a repetition here. He thanked the military administrator and said, no man of honor would dare do such a thing. A two-way contract, one side had been performed. For him to reach on that promise will make him decision he will not do so. And on inauguration on Monday, October 1, 1979, he declared free education throughout Lagos State and did all the things. Another aspect of a man of honor that Alaji Kondi was and still is at his inauguration, he did say that his administration a holy from ministering to the rich that previous men had served only the rich people state and that he would holiday from them and fair attend to the mass of our people. He did so in the provision of low cost houses, full employment free services it was to implement is for the rich 
in the second term by the military incursion into governance. But he did fulfill that promise to reach when he became the Federal Minister for Works. He said somewhere in Ikui and saw a horse-shaped island and decided that hydraulic sand filling would be done. So this now became the shape of a banana. And that is how Banana Island came in. His idea he was going to create and even for the rich, so that while alive, to see and enjoy heaven on earth. Today, not people know that the originator of Banana Island is Latif Kaode Jakonde. There is an exit between the first civil governor of Lagos and the present governor of your state. The nexus is this. Because Governor Babaji Polu is uh, oriented, he assigned his chief of staff to pay a visit to Alaji Jakonde's home in the first election to see the state of his abode. And I think he directed on receipt of that report from the of staff to Shelf Street in Lupeju. It was done. Because like a large Jack on the Governor Bide Sonwolo has passion for education. He also taking steps to ensure that one of the children of Haji Jakonde is sponsored by the state to undergo a master's degree in the United Kingdom. I believe that they cannot die because he lives in the steps that Sonwolu is treading is going to go down in his as another Babake Kere of the state. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Bye. Oshin. Yeah, me. To let you know what I forgot to say earlier, that he was the chief press secretary to Al Haji Latif Jakonde while in office. Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Governor, distinguished guests, all courtesies duly extended. We will now quickly run through the documentary on the life and times of the first city of Lagos State, Al Haji Latif. Kayode Jakonde we, we had very, very high hopes independence. We had read about other countries and we thought that uh, if we got independence, all the goodness of life would send us. But I think we have all learned from experience that it takes some time, some experience and some uh, level of tolerance, uh, uh, a period of uh, arrive. And I think what is happening is we have been paying the price of uh, independence. With the advent of democracy in the country and Lagos State, years old, it became apparent that the state, as the capital and seat of power of the giant of Africa, needed a focused and dedicated Democrat who will steer its ship to development. This Democrat who came on board 
was Alaji Latif, Kaud Ejakonde. A man that ruled for only four years, three months after his, his, man, his records, his hands are still clearly at the end of time. He did on October 1st, 1979, on the platform of the Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN, making him the first executive governor of Lagos State. As a young and vibrant governor and working with the template of the founding fathers of the state, Alaji Latif Kaode Jakonde immediately formed his team and armed with the manifesto of the party embarked on massive infrastructural developments which are still points of reference till today. As the governor of the state, he recorded many firsts. Armed with a vision to improve the educational standard as well as make education accessible and able for the less privileged, his administration built many neighborhood primary and secondary schools, raising the primary schools in Lagos from 605 with 434,545 pupils to 812 with 531,001 pupils as well as secondary schools from 105 with 107,835 pupils to 223 with 167,629 students. By 1983, had over 22,000 classrooms with maximum of 40 students per class. At the heels of the construction of these schools was the establishment of a singular school system and free education for primary and secondary schools. It converted three sets of school classes to, without failing. Only one he is the most progressive individual that you ever have. Progressive to the core. He declared education free at all levels. That was at the time the military administration that he succeeded was advised by officials of the Ministry of Education to increase school fees when schools resumed in September 1979. But he had gone far and wide to campaign for people to elect him and a free education. So on his first day in office, he declared education free for all children of school age from primary to university level. Constructed many more classrooms, which people call poultry shed. But I want the public to know that he was able to accommodate all the primary school uh, pupils and the secondary school pupils at that time. But of course, he became the foundation of many of the big uh, schools which you found around. You. So that shows his foresight. He built a set of classrooms to accommodate large chunk of students and they sort of encouraged most of, most of us and made people to go to school. And then, even though we were many then, some people called those classrooms poetry. But he used that to scrap all the three shifts. An education system, which was three shift system, at the time he came in, in May 1st, 1979, became one shift system and it did not affect the kind of education we got at that time it was still qualitative but they are the kind of classrooms that gave access basic access to basic education to people like us and then that made us what we have today um, for it he got a commendation from unesco a letter special letter written to him and a plaque to acknowledge the fact that the man used an ingenious method to solve 
a very critical social problem. He also established the Lagos State University LASO, the Lagos State College of Education and the Teacher Training College. His administration visualized the rising population of Lagos, which continued to attract people through provision of adequate and affordable shelter. He constructed over 30,000 housing units. These include Ijaye, Dolphin, Okiafa, Ije, Abeson, Eponri, Epaja, Abulinla, Epe, Amu Wodofi, Anikotamo, Surulere, Iba, Ikorodu, Pedagri, Isheriolou, Orishigu, to mention a few. These houses were affordable for the common man and are still standing today. A testament to this achievement is that in the construction of these houses, values and standards were not compromised. To facilitate the mass transit, he introduced the Metro Line project. This was cancelled by the succeeding military regime. Also, the quest for intermodal transport system led to the introduction of ferry services in 1980 with two passenger commercial boats christened Babakekere and Itafaji. These boats plied to Marina route. Within the four years of his administration, he built the Lagos State Secretariat, which houses ministries, demands, and agency, and built the popular roundhouse, which for a long time was occupied by subsequent governors to the office. He also built the Lagos State House Assembly. Did waste disposal board, which is now called Loma. He created water management uh, water corporation, which is now called water management board. He created works management board. Then the school management board. To look at and the web and test come. So he tried as possible all the be there entire The journalist he brought it to the fore with trucks legal. Channel 8 radio. The rate has given vision of the importance of protecting government security documents. The administration took over the keep legal printing. The health system of the state took a dramatic turn when his administration constructed 20 health centers and went a step further with the assurance and provision of free health care while he saw to the completion of the Bagada and Ikorudu General Hospitals. Between 1979 and 1983, the administration of Latif Jakonde established the Water Management Board and the Waste Disposal Board on the 18th of August, 1980. With emphasis on providing potable water for the people, the administration constructed the Adino Waterworks. This helped propel the water supply in the state to 18.16 million liters per day. He also expanded and modernized Iju Waterworks. The result of the expansion was an increment in the daily water production capacity from 159 million to 204 million liters per day. Added to this was the construction of 10 mini waterworks. At the water project, it's another project Lagos will never forget in life. Within a very short, short period, that dam was constructed and pipeline water was running in Lagos City. And apart from that, many waterworks we are con constructed in most of the local governments so that uh, 
almost every local government was supplied with uh, pipe and water. There was a shortage of water in Lagos at that time. We started establishing clean water works that, so that the water will run over and then you can be able to get water all over. Bariga, uh, Aguda. He created an estate with the construction of Victoria Island Ekwe Road. His administration also constructed, rehabilitated, and resurfaced the day road, Alimosho Idimu Ebe Road, Oba Akron Avenue, Town Planning Way, Ilupeju, Victoria Island Road, Twin Street, Ikeja, amongst others. He established an asphalt plant for the Department of Works. This asphalt plant has since been upgraded and is now known as the Lagos Public Works Corporation. When we came into government, there was no Ekpe Expressway. We used to go to the Ekpe through Makoko in the bush there. And we would stay for about two, three, four days in the bush there. And he kept on saying, we have to build a road. We have to open this place up. We have to open this place up. We have to open this place up. So he knew it. Even if that was before we came to government. We were campaigning then. So when we got into government, he said to me and many others, of course, I said, Deepo, it's time to open this road. You recall when we started Lagos TV, they were jamming it. The federal government was jamming it. Each time we wanted to produce, you see, in, in, they would, our own would not show. It's the federal government wanted that we show. And then what do we do? What do we do? And we got somebody to bring in a special machine for us. We found a way to get that machine into the country. Because if they knew we were bringing the machine, they, they won't let it come. So we brought the machine to come. And we established and that is why you have a TV today. In order to bring sanity to Lagos roads, Jack on this administration established the first state traffic management authority. To his credit, Lasako Insurance was established and also a small scale industries credit scheme. With a strong quest for alternative medical care, his administration also scored a first with the establishment of the Traditional Medicine Board. In his short but eventful administration, Latif Jakonde touched every part of the state and ensured that none was left behind. His frugal lifestyle also came to the fore when he served his term as governor from his modest Ilupeju residence. According to him, he said he came to the world for pure, I mean for, um, for ordinary people. We have a good man that is ready to help, help to the the end of his life. He built schools. That is for the public too. Fortunately, I'm a beneficiary of this of, of the school. I wish I was beneficiary of the houses or you know, but the man would never agree. So, you know, he has how many estates all over. None of us, none of the family would say, okay, I have uh, one of these flats. It was. Uh, he was about to start Banana Island then. I remember I was there when he was inspecting the site, when he was minister. And as, as my father used to say, you can only sleep on one bed at a time. My brother was a very quiet boy from the youth. If, if, if you are playing with anybody around him and he said, hey, my brother will say, tell you, if, you, if I had that real that from you again, you will not come near me again. He said, he said, if he said someone else is not correct, that means it's finished with the person. It's not going to. The only abuse you need to abuse is. Don't do that again, Abba. You, Abba. Abba. Is somebody, when we want to, when about resuming, resuming, you have to make your list of what you want to do, buy in school. Somebody, when you pass your date to come and defend 
of your proposal, what you intend doing. And he will actually screen one item by item. And uh, the, the best you can do with him is questioning. Is the best you can get from what you are. Indeed. Hard working and to live and to love our people. I like you, Doctor Latu, quite Jack and Dee. Was a great love for people. A man does not so effort to people true to their social. He treated everyone equally. He never for once held back his hand to render people that coming knocking every day or weekend. He, he was so outstanding in his own style that where once he took his seat at say 9, 10 in the morning, he would not leave that seat until the meeting ended. So how did he cope? He was a fan of Tom Tom and uh, uh, Lemon Vicks. My organic that meeting will have his packet of Tom Tom. That sweet packet of Tom Tom in his in his, in his uh, pocket. And if uh, if he felt like refreshing himself, he would open it, throw one Tom Tom in. It. So he, he was a tireless, a tireless worker. The philosophy of life that I said it. The philosophy that was propelling all his action was this phrase that I'm going to give. To produce the greatest good for the greatest number of our people. Every time, that was what we say, we must produce the greatest good for the greatest numbers of our people. All that we are saying is honesty, and sincerity, Alaji Jakunde had all that. He was appointed Minister of Works by the military government. And as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he built the largest housing estate in Africa, Gwarimpa, and the Lube housing estate of territory Abuja, while by Nana Island project. Popularly called Babakekere, Latif Kaode Jakunde was born in the Epet area of Lagos Island on Monday, 29th July 1929, to parents who were from Umuaro, Ara State. He started his educational journey at Lagos Public School, Enoa, Lagos Island, and thereafter at Bonham Memorial Methodist School, Port Harcourt, between 1934 and 1943. He had a brief stint at King's College in 1943 and later proceeded to Elisha Grammar School in 1945. While in Elisha Grammar School, he edited a literary paper called The Quarterly Mirror. This set the stage for his journalism. ...of all the other liberties of the citizen and therefore the son of every human being. An attack on press freedom in any country derogates from the totality of press freedom in the world. All too often, media men in some advanced countries, because they were born into press freedom, adopt an attitude of indifference to encroachments on press freedom in other countries. All too often, media men in some developing countries resign themselves to the pernicious doctrine that their press cannot be free for reasons which are patently absurd and grossly illogical. His thirst to further his journalism career led him to the print industry where he started his career with the Daily Service in 1949. He later moved to the Nigerian Tribune in 1953. His dedication and hard work 
opened the door for a rapid career growth as he was appointed editor-in-chief in 1956. His zeal for greater challenges saw him leaving Nigerian Tribune to establish his own newspaper outfit named John West Publication, an outfit which produced the Lagos News. He later became the first president of the Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria, NPAN. Yes, he established himself in the, in the journalism profession as unique, as the first in so many things. First in the establishment, he joined in the establishment of the Nigeria Union of Journalists, in the Guild of Editors, and he was the first president of the Newspaper Prospectors Association of Nigeria. Of course, he moved from there, worked himself up on the media ladder, and became the first African to become the president of the International Press Institute. Jacondi's passion to serve humanity led him into politics. He vied for the post of the executive governor of Lagos State under the platform of Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN, an election he won and thus marked the beginning of his many firsts as the first executive governor of the state. As a governor, he holds political clinic every day after office hours where he listens to the complete suggestion or request of, uh, of people, of the citizens of Lagos. That could be so open to people. Go to him anytime. You will see two pieces of paper on his table. One is a pad, one is a note. The note is where he will put down what you are asking him, which he wants to respond to. And one thing good about Jack and Ray is that if the, this help, the whole house of people want to see him, he will sit and attend to everybody. You will come this way, you come this way. He said, what, what is your problem? What is your problem? If it's the one he wants to discuss with you, you will say, go and wait. If it's the one that he has to say to somebody, he will go, go and do this. When the military came back to power in Nigeria, Latif Jakonde was made Minister of Works under the late Sunny Abacha regime, a post he held from 1993 to 1998. With the really vibrant Jakonde became the first chairman of the Action Party of Nigeria, APN. In his lifetime, Latif Kaode Jakonde was a man of high integrity who was passionate about the development of Lagos State. This saw him recording many firsts as the governor. There is no way one can say we will beat his record. His absence will be deeply felt. His death will create a vacuum in the state and in the heart of the people. Demise on Thursday, 11th February 2021 is indeed a loss to Lagos State, to Nigeria, and to humanity. Good night, A. Adieu, Kikiri. Thank you much, Mr. Governor, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to celebrate the life and times of an outstanding leader, Halhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde. Please let us lighten up a bit as we now have some band performance. First on the lineup, I will invite the standing troop of the Lagos State Council of Arts and Culture to please go on to the platform and form. You have to meet.
Thank you, the starting troop. Thank you very much. Please, can we put our hands together for the standing troop of the Lagos State Arts and Culture? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your performance. Mr. Governor, all cuts is duly extended. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the next performance in honor of a man that touched all facets of life in Lagos State is coming from the Nigeria police. The police band will be entertaining us for the next three minutes. The police band. Ladura <laughs> I got the
for the wonderful music. Thank you for the security and entertainment aspect of today's event. And the last celebration performance that we'll be having at this day of tribute will be coming from a group of young Nigerians, very dynamic, very creative, the crown troop of Africa. You have three minutes. Thank you very much. Crown Troop. Crown Troop. The Crown Troop of Africa. All in honor of Alhaji Latsif Kayode Jakonde. A round of applause to them. Alhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde was born on July 29, 1929. July 29, 
three years later, in 1956. Nigerian Tribune in 1975 and established the John West publication, Publishers of Lagos News. Education for primary and secondary levels. and educational programs targeting the poor, building of new neighborhood primary and secondary school where education was free of charge. Established 23 local government councils. He also established a metro line project to facilitate mass transit. <laughs> as the governor of Lagos State when the military seized power on the 31st of December 1983. What if I continue? Today, we celebrate the life of a great man, an epitome of selflessness. Selflessness in public service. 
Sabasun, Sao Bajimon, Arami, Aranoku, Sabatisun, Sao de Jimorara, Aramio, Araloma, Sabasun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for the wonderful performance, the Crown Troop of Africa. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate them, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Governor, sir. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are all here to celebrate impactful leadership, selflessness, pragmatism in governance, as demonstrated by late Al Haji Latif from 1989 to 93. He had four cardinal program as a trap. Today in Lagos, a man is following that footsteps. If you talk pragmatic leadership, he has it. If you talk about being impactful with the projects, we have it. If you talk about a leader who is selfless, he has it. Some weeks ago, former governor and national leader of the APC, Ashiwaju Bola Hakmenu, passed a vote of confidence on his station at the inauguration of the dual carriage flyover in Agege. A couple of months ago, former governor and present minister for works and housing described him as an action governor, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't rise as I formally invite the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babaji Olusola Sanwolu, to address this gathering. Mr. Governor, sir. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Thank you very much. I think the performers, they deserve another round of applause. All of the great performance this afternoon, they deserve another round of applause. My school children, are you enjoying yourself? Please give yourself a big round of applause. Thank you. You actually the governor of Ogun State, Mr. Prince Dapo Abiodun, actively represented by the Deputy Governor, Our Excellency, Engineer Mrs. Noimot Oyedele, and her amiable husband, Bode Oyedele. Thank you very much for coming. Our national leader, Atuaju Bola Ahmed Sinubu, here ably represented, Honorable Tuji Belo, 
the First Lady of Lagos State, and my wife, Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sonwolu. Thank you very much. The Deputy of Bafemi Hamza and his amiable wife, Mrs. Oluremi Hamzat. Lagos State, Honorable Justice Kazim Alu. Here, heavily represented by my Honorable Justice Oye Khan Abdullahi. Thank you very much for coming. Former Governor of Lagos and Ogun. Here present, retired but not tired, Brigadier General Bamarua Aremo Olushe Oshoba. Thank you, sir. For me. Former First Lady of Lagos State and the Chief Mona, Alaja Abimbola Jakonde. Of our Deputy Governors of Lagos State here present, Excellency Prince Abiodun Ogunleye, Excellency Senator Kofu, for coming, distinguished members of the National Assembly, past and present here, especially our excellent, uh, my Excellency Senator Olure Mutinumbu, here heavily represented by Mrs. Omar Essien, Senator Gadnew Solomon, and other members of the National Assembly. The Oba of Lagos, His Royal Majesty, Obaril Won, Kyolu, here ably represented by the White Cap Chiefs, who I will acknowledge very shortly. Members of the Lagos State House of Assembly, here present. Members of the Executive Council, present, past and present. Chairman of our Statutory Commission, here present. Body of Permanent Secretaries, here present. Service Chiefs, in event, especially the Commandant General Anugawa, Commissioner of Police, Mr. Akim Udumosu, the Director of the DSS, Mr. SM Wazi, and Air Admiral Ibrahim. Thank you all very much. The Chairman of our party, the All Progressive Congress, a one time commissioner, a man that has just turned 70, brand new 70 year old. Looking young and able, Honorable Tunde Balogun and other members of his state present. Our fathers of the Gold Right Shiku that are here in Chinoba, led and headed by a one time member of the House of Representatives, Mr. Judin Bulole Olusi, Senator Antoni Defuye. Omoba Sonya Olumuiwa Ashiwaju Olonfumi Bashonu Doctor Abayo Mifini Arnold Odun Baku Alaji Mutu Are acknowledge each and every one of you. Thank you very much for all of your support. Makari, Rwandonu of Imota, Your Majesty Dr. Mohammed Afolabi Ashafa, the Unijaniki of Injaniki Kingdom, Your Majesty Oba Ufolari Ubusan Uku, Ara of Ibarra Kingdom, Your Majesty Oba Ufolabi Adeli Unisabe of Isabe, our white captives, the Okwelu Onido of Lagos, Chief Wad. I use Oluru Prince Ayodele Oyekon, the Badge Lost, Chief Waidi Ayeni, the Shashore of, and of course, the Jamon Day of, I think that one deserves a round of applause. Our leaders and 
fathers that are also here, Senator Olubi Ojai, thank you for coming. Just these that are here with us, Chief Imam of Lagos, His Eminence, Sheikh Suleiman Abnoa, Alaji Sheikh Tijani Bayabia Mila, Alaji Sheikh Alayaka, Alaji Sheikh Mutiu Ogumbado, the Chairman of Khan, Lagos State, Right Reverend Dr. STV Debite, Apostle Daniel, thank you for coming. We acknowledge and appreciate all of the support you have given to our government. Captains of industry that are here present. Our uh, men and women are present, all the other artisans acknowledge and agree on every one of you. Our very supportive, dedicated public servants that are here acknowledge you. Our dynamic students and people of Lagos State for whom Alaji Jagonde stood for, fought for for and the credo that all of you and all of us are enjoying today knowledge each and various communities members of the footman the gentlemen of the press thank you very much for coming in large numbers thank you, ladies and gentlemen Today, we celebrate a great man. We celebrate a self -love. We celebrate a real gem. Celebrate an administrator of excellence. Chilean governor, the architect of modern Lagos, one of the leading disciples Sage Chief Obafemi Alaji Latif Ayode Jacon Kekere, a spirit he earned from taking after the Chief Obafemi, a man who lived a full life, a life rich in material. Things that truly matter. A man that lived for integrity, a man that lived for honor, a man that is people, a man that had great character. Through his outstanding and equal achievements, Alaji Latif Kaude Jacob definitely read his name in gold. He will continue to be remembered by generations as a reference point of good books. By generation, a reference point for a strong welfare, a visionary leadership, a selfless leader, a transformational leader, a true leadership of great example. One of the attributes of Alaji Latif Kaudi Kondi that stood out to most people was his humility. He was never one to throw witness and cloth around. He stayed and humble. At the tribute that we gave to him at the Lagos State Cabinet, you can see our modest example in the Back on day, we had Liz Ba Hamzat in the cabinet of Mr. Ulu today. We had in the person of Deputy Governor Dr. Kadri Obak. In the cabinet, Laji Latif Jakonde, we had late Janil of Majide Son Ulu today have his son, Mr. Oluche Gundaudu. <laughs> Cabinet of Alaji Jacon, we had the Chief Press Secretary, Mr. Bayo, in the Governance and Cabinet of Lagos State. 
We have a salad, Mr. Bayo Oshiemi. Secretary of Alaji Jakonde, where the likes of Baba Tajudin Ulusi. These are the same men that are students of our governor's advisory council, most 40 years after, still keeping the touch and the that Jack the heart of his achievements will continue to light till the very end. To his foreign Alaji Kaude Jack had built a reputation for himself as an outstanding, a fearless people can truly rely on. But his courage, all of the fighting, chief of the Nigerian tribe. And they've told us, and as John West, as a pseudo name that a lot of people would not know at that time. I like Jack Ronde, achievements as executive governor of Lagos State within a very short of four years and three months in 1979 to 1983, are well documented for prosperity. A careful analysis of the achievements in health, in housing for all, in public transportation, in environment, in infrastructure, or in agriculture. None of them rather a leader that is showed in the management of resources who has vision, who is blessed, discipline, who is altruistic, who is passionate who is accountable. He truly demonstrated that the real essence of power is for the advancement of wealth and the empowerment of the greatest number of people. He understood the power of education as the most potent weapon that can the vicious cycle of poverty. He depletes into a manner. You've heard the speech today where the Latif Tower de Jaconde crushed the educational system three streams to a single stream. Actually, of all of those days, as a result of an unrelated commitment to the implementation of the education of the Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN. Alaji Latif Kaude Yakonde succeed in ensuring a level field for all of the generation of children who probably would not have known what the falls of classrooms look like. Today, all those children, accomplished professionals, one of them standing here humbly and have become leaders in the, on all, all of our shores of human and opportunity made available by Baba Kekere. The housing sector, many low-income earners became proud owners of apartments because of his administration's mass housing policy and pocket-friendly payment system. I think it's appropriate to quick run some, some of his outstanding achievement for the sake of the young people and today, who might not be so familiar here, the and the legacy that to us. We have by a to speech man. Lagos, the first state-owned television in the country, the Lagos State Radio Service, 
the Lagos State University, what I was Agege, Shomolu, Apapa, Badad, and Agu. Housing estates at Iba, Isolo, Ikwari, Ejigo, and a lot of others. First secretariat at Alausa, Ikeja. to build metro rail force. But I can assure all, all of us and the memory that is how the Jack on day that the rail projects that he conceived 38 years ago, maybe not on the same alignment, but this current government will ensure that with next one and a half years, the blue line rail projects that we see outside here become the red line Mado, to a butemeta, which is just here, will be available for our citizens, which will be our own modest deliverable into the memory of Alaji Latif for the Jack on Day. Ba was a transformational leader who led by example. His commitment, dedication to build Lagos on him, a Lagos that works for all, was still unequal and unrivaled. He served people with all his life and never saw position as a route for personal enrichment. He demystified public service through his simple. I took a quote of his speech at his second year soon on October 1st, 1983. I educated myself. I knew of the service of the people of Lagos from dawn to dawn and from dawn to dawn in any human condition or circumstance whatsoever. I shall devote my life and impeccable service of all of who inhabitant of the state. Nothing on, on, on nothing on heart deter me any time from seeking the greater good for the greatest of our people this is my mission. End of quote. I stand in front of Google of Lagos. It's taken from the script that I've just read out of Alati Jaconde's speech in 1983. With this, I will ensure that the greatest good is for the greater number in Lagos State. That is my some promise that I'm taking away from what Akonde stood for. And on a lighter note, he likes Tom Tom, I like Tom Tom. I like to set a standard. Situation try to live up to and maintain without any fear of contradiction that Baba died a happy man and he fulfilled because he was able to grasp that situation, especially civilian government made with regard to actualizing the Lagos of his dream. Regardless of your social or economic class, your ethnic origin or your religious outlook, as I said in my tribute at the time of his thing, the highest honor we can indeed pay to him continues to strive to live up leadership and and deliver the freedom of democracy, people, legal states. This will do across all starter 
under our own agenda, which have christened the team's agenda. Baba lived on a cardinal principle. We are living and are guided by a sixth pillar of agenda. I want to encourage our mother, the chief mother, Her Excellency Alaja Jai, and the children. Whoever is with God is with all. Baba made it possible for a lot of us to stand there, have them be part of the legacy. That, and I want all of you to, with your shoulders high, with your eyes up, and know that in your father, your grandfather, your husband has lived. And, in, and generations that are coming will find it difficult to, to say to you that indeed Aladdin Lakar de Jai is an epitome that all of us are standing for today. It is difficult to pass on anything for Aladdin Jakonde because whilst he was alive, Everything around this has the emblem of Jack on Day in it. Do we want to begin? Do we want to begin to rename others, or do we want to begin to rename housing estates that are already Jack on Day nature? To immortalize a Jack on Day is an everyday activity for us as a government. But for me, is to say that we're going to set up an endowment that is going to be called the Latif Kao de Jacondé Leadership Fellowship Academy. This is what we believe that personal leaders that Elijah Jacondé stood for, that indeed we can create leaders of tomorrow on a year on year 20 that can stand and the spirit and the aspiration of Alaji Latif Kao de Jacondé Day. Act will be backed up by the enabling act, by the enabling law, and will give it a treat that chunks that are coming behind us will not be able to reverse. I like to talk on day. What things to many people? Some it was Baba Kekere. To some, like our father said, he was a good listener, a, a man that had time for the poor amongst us. To some, he was the man that created the opportunity for them to be who they are today. I so want to grant that may Almighty Allah grant him Aljana to them. I did Babake whom you, but humanity will remember you for decades and to come. Adio Alaji Lati Kayode Jakonde. Thank you very much. Gomino Fun Oh, Nino, I want to actually Baba Amzat, Baba or Shiami, 
baba ba ti awon won na si wa ninu ijoba titi o ni oloni awon ebi dada yi na ni ijoba ipinle ikun nlo eyi ti baba jakande le lori won je oni royin a ko royin pataki lori isa takun takun ti won gbe se ni akoko na won ko amoye iwe fun won ibaje e ti won je na ni ipinle iko ise ma ni gbagbe ni won se eyi ti eni o le gbagbe ni ipinle iko se eto ile so ni eto eko oke bo oko to ile gbigbe ipese o ye derun a be lo baba jakan de fi owo kunkundu mu eto eko ti gbogbo eniyan je ni re loni gomina sanwo olupa pa onja anfani e o eko fe yi won ni gbogbo won lo ti deni la lo ti deni loni ni won si ti wa ni big ele gbigbe oko lo di oni lori lato wo ohun ti baba de fi lori oro ile gbigbe won ni o dara ka so gbo asejori ti baba jakan de se gbo awon omo oje oni ki won le bi pe ene ni alhamdulillah ti jakan de je won ni won da ile ise television ipinle iko mo si e ti sile o le go si wa nti wa awon ni won da sile ile eko gi facility lasu ko sayin baba jakan de ta ba so ni pa omi ero fun gbogbo awon ni ko baba lo fi lele ta ba so ni pa ibi ti ile ise ijoba ipinle o duro si ise owo aji lati de da ba soro ipo igboke gbodo oko oju rin nko won ni ko sayin gbogbo blue red line red red oni eyi ise ti baba ti se sile ni eni to yi nkan ta sire ni baba jakande e to ilana o sise oba nko ni ipinle iko baba lo fi ipinle re lele ti amole lo akomona gomina sanwo olu jade ninu ako sile ti baba ko lodun 1983 e wa awon na tel lowo lowo after wa la ani baba gomina wa ni ipinle iko gomina sanwo olu e won fina si tom gomina sanwo fina si tom ko si on ti atun le se ti ti baba jakan de fi lele o pe mu le ninu ijoba ti won ijoba gomina sanwo olu le o ko mefa won wa ki mama jakan de ati won omo awon omo ati gbogbo ebi pataka bi pe ipile rere ti baba de ni iru won n te awon to nbo yin na yo ma tele ni ipile ipo ti le wo san ti le we ile gbigbe ohun ti oruko ba jakan de duro le lori titi di oni oloni o si ma de lo lori titi lai ni komi na so we won ba lu ofin e to da ile eko kan sile ti o ma ko awon asiwaju awon ti o je asiwaju leyin ona ti ko bi ase eto ati bi ase nse ijoba ni ipinle iko asikiri orilede nigeria ohun ti ba kan de se o apo un dara dara ni baba duro lebi ninu eyi yan ti jeri si lati gba ti ati wa ni bilo ati gba ti baba ti won ti fi ora won ki gbogbo ebi won ki gbogbo ara wi pe ki olorun ko te baba alhaji lati ode jakande gomina la pada akopo ni ipinle iko so jana free dows a o ni gbagbe yin o baba alhaji lati ode ode ohun ti gomina so ni ranpe ede abini bini thank you very much ayo so to wa mr governor your excellencies all cuts is duly extended ladies and gentlemen at this point in time to respond on behalf of the Jacon de family i like to invite member house of representative honorable deji jacon de 
please hands together for him as he comes forward to respond on behalf of the family. Yo, Mr. Governor, uh, the First Lady, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, and the Deputy Governor's wife. Um, former Governors, GAC members, permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Mr. Go, my job is to respond on behalf of the family. I want to say that I think you have already read Chief this uh, day of tributes. I would just want to that from all you said, um, believe that we probably a jack on the we might be calling you Mr. Babaji De Sonwulu Jack on. Sir, I just want to add one two to all responses about my father. He was a great man. At the same time, he had time the family. And um, his death has given us a challenge. I've met siblings and we have decided that we would put them going because all eyes are on us. Sir, permit me to appreciate the planning for this event that kicked off today. The super working Buffalo, the chief of staff. I appreciate Dr. Wallet, Chief Mrs. Ake, Prince Bayos Oshemi, of course, the protocol department. What we as um, I also want to, before I continue, I'm sorry, um, Honorable Commissioner Sir, what we need for you and members of the public is the prayers for you to support and family so that we will not do. We just want to say that going forward, we would appreciate you. We thank you, sir. God bless you. Please let's applaud Honorable Deji Jaconde again. We will fix a date for the renaming ceremony as you have postulated. At this time, I'd like to invite to move formal vote of thanks at this event. And to that, I'd like you to please applaud me, Secretary to the Statement of Lagos. Please welcome Mrs. Polashde Shifat Jaji. Oh, Excellency, the Governor. Excellency, the Deputy Governor, please permit me to stand well established protocol, Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Ulushola, and uh, if 
will all recall, I think Mr. No has thanked every personality here present, including our honorable children. I have also been mandated by him to give this vote of thanks. I'm only that I am highly honored and it gladdened my heart to move the vote of thanks on this remarkable day of tribute for our highly esteemed finder, a very much loved first civilian governor, Alaji Chief Kayode Yakonde, and also our illustrious son, who left notable legacies in Lagos State as a other states of the Federation as Mr. of Wars. I must thank especially Governor the Deputy for doing it fit. This necessary event of Alaji Akif Kayode Jakon Day. So on behalf of His Excellency, sorry, Mr. Governor and Deputy and the government, let me say government of Lake State and the good people of the state, I want to thank Her Excellency um, Aja Jakonde and the entire Jakonde family for ending this event in a number and to thank and every one of us including our adorable children that have missed some of their lives today grace this occasion with your esteemed friends i cannot thank you enough and i'm sure with all of the eulogies that we have heard about the alajila kayode jakon day we must and I, we believe that he is indeed a legend and not forget him in a long time to come appreciate you Everybody here present, we appreciate all the this chiefs, all distinguished ladies and gentlemen who have graced this occasion with their esteemed friends. We thank you very much, and I pray that we we'll are back to our destinations in this um i want to i i know the other speakers have always have also thanked the planning committee i'm sure you will help me you'll join me in thanking them for making this event a very successful one Thank you very much, and Adere Inokoreo, thank you very much. Please, can we applaud the SSG slash ADG? Mr. Governor, Your Excellency is considerably extended. To signal the end of this day of tribute, legend Haji Latif Kayodi Dakonde, fully invite each and every one of us to rise for the national anthem. The national anthem.
you very much. Please let us uh, give a message for our dignitaries and indeed the children and family of late Al Haji Kai Jakonde, the police band.